as of now, the world is as big and small place in population wise. And the best way to describe that is by looking at this. This is a map about population density, well not maybe not density, but the total population of countries. Very small. And as you can see, it says one grid equals one million people. There's a lot of things we could talk about right now. And let's start off with Australia. Australia, the sixth biggest country in the world, also known as a continent, is only home to this many people. That many people live in Australia? which is also the continent and the sixth biggest country in the world. Mostly probably because it's just endless desert, but that's not the point. Next off, you've probably all been waiting for this, Canada. Canada is only home to this many people. On this map, it says 33 million people. Today, it's about 37 million people. And to put that to perspective, it's less to the entire less population than the entire city of Tokyo. I've mentioned this in another video that I've made, but that video is just scrapped. You can just pretend that never existed. But yeah, it's literally less populated than in, than the city of Tokyo in Japan. And Canada is the second biggest country in the world. Why? And you may be thinking, whoa, this is big, look at that giant green square, it makes sense, right? No, because that's China. We obviously know China is the most popular country in the world, but that just screams Russia is absolutely tiny. Russia has a population of around 140 million today. And if you look on this map, European Russia is very small. It's home to at least around 110 million today in European Russia and Asian Russia is home to the rest of 30 million people. It's just crazy. Probably like Australia, it's just like remote snow everywhere. But that's besides the Let's move on to back into Europe and specifically my country, the UK. And when we specifically look at the UK, I mean England. Well, kind of just all the countries in general. If you look at England's population, it's massive compared to Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland. And England's population is home to at least 55 million, like at least home to 55 million people. And Scotland is like home to like 5 million, Wales 2 million, and on Northern Ireland 1 million. And then Ireland itself, the island of Ireland, has home to about 4 million people. So, if you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, whatever, whatever. I'm probably going to do a part 2 on this, to think you just review on it more. And I'll see you guys in another video